Hey, Spencer here. Welcome into our third installment of Product of the Week. Today we're featuring the Carver C1 preamp coupled with the M1.0T power amplifier. Carver has a long history of affordable high-end hi-fi audio equipment that dates back all the way to the early 70s. This includes Phase Linear, Carver, Carver LLC, Sunfire, Emotiva, and currently Bob Carver Corporation. The Carver C1 Sonic Holography Preamplifier is basically a conventional high quality preamp, but it incorporates a proprietary audio filter design developed by Bob Carver and was used extensively in several preamplifier and receiver units built by Carver Corporation in the 1980s and 1990s. The C1 has separate bass and treble tone controls for each channel with switchable turnover frequencies of 8 or 2 kHz for the treble and 40 Hz or loudness for the bass. These controls have been designed to provide maximum utility for the user. The dimensions are 19 inches wide, 3.5 inches high, and 10 inches deep, and weighs in at about 6 pounds. In addition to the four tone control knobs on the front panel, there is an independently powered headphone jack, an input selector knob, a small balance knob, and a large volume knob. The C1 features two magnetic phono inputs. Phono 1 for conventional moving magnet or MM cartridges has an input impedance of 47,000 ohms with additional amounts of input capacitance selectable by a slide switch on the rear of the unit. This makes it easier to match the input of the preamplifier to almost any phono cartridge. Phono 2 with 25 decibel additional gain for moving coil or MC cartridges in which input is terminated by 39 ohms. The other input sources are identified as tuner, aux 1, and aux 2. Other front panel facilities include a group of six rectangular buttons. The top three control the sonic hologram. The bottom row silences the speakers for headphone only listening and switches the power to the C1. The sonic hologram controls, besides turning the circuit on and off, select different internal operating conditions in an effort to recreate the elusive quality of three-dimensional sound. The trick involves proprietary circuitry which, to put simply, acts on phase and amplitude variations modifying channel information enhancing sound spacing beyond the speakers. I would recommend reviewing the owner's manual for more information. The other front panel buttons form a row below the tone control knobs. They include tone bypass, low and high frequency turnover selectors, two tape monitor switches, and two dub switches that cross connect the two tape decks for copying from either one to the other. There is also an external processor button that can be used to put a signal processing accessory such as an EQ, expander, or something similar in the signal path. On the rear of the C1, there are jacks for all signal inputs and outputs, including two pairs of main outputs. In addition to the switchable phono capacitance, there is an infrasonic filter button that inserts a 12 dB per octave roll-off below 15 Hz in the phono preamplifier section. Three of the six AC convenience outlets are switched, with a total maximum rating of 500 watts. Next up is the Carver M1.0T amplifier. This is an amplifier for the demands of compact digital discs, VHS hi-fi, vinyl, and other wide dynamic range playback media. The M1.0T bears the following specs. It has a continuous FTC sine wave output conservatively rated at 200 watts RMS per channel into 8 ohms from 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz with no more than 0.15% total harmonic distortion. In stereo, this amp produces 350 to 500 watts per channel of RMS power into 4 ohms. It delivers 1000 watts continuous sine wave output at 8 ohms in mono mode. 
It uses base phase inventory circuitry that can essentially double current output at low frequencies. This means you get more better bass. It has a 100 decibel signal to noise ratio. It includes elaborate safeguards, including DC offset and short circuit power interrupt protection, acting as a power conditioner and surge protector. It is capable of handling unintended one ohm speaker loads. It uses a power display capable of one millisecond peak response time and instant warning of clipping. The Carver M 1.0T not only delivers over 800 watts of peak power for momentary musical transients, but can provide over 350 watts of longer term power for demands lasting up to 20 seconds. More power, more current, and more voltage than any other comparably priced amplifier. It weighs 20 pounds and runs cool to the touch. The magic lies in the patented magnetic field coil utilized in the Carver M 1.0T. Instead of increasing cost, size, and heat output with storage circuits, magnetic field amplification delivers amazing output from this small but powerful component. The result is a design capable of simultaneous high power and high voltage. A compact, cool, running design that fills your room with sound, not bulk. This mighty giant in a small package is in excellent condition and ready to blow your mind. Whether you're putting together a new system or upgrading an existing system, you'll have the beginnings of a beautiful relationship. You can purchase this delectable preamp power amp combo directly from our website at spencertified.com or you can use the link in the description. Please leave a comment down below letting us know what you think of this jacked amplifier and technologically ahead of its time preamp. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our great videos. See ya!